Welcome to the Park Crimp Difference. Parker's line of Park Crimp crimping machines provides users easy to use, safe, and reliable high performance hose assemblies. Other crimping systems require skiving the hose, that is, remove part of the rubber cover from the end so the fittings will fit. With Park Crimp fittings, there is no need for skiving. The metal teeth of the fitting penetrate the hose cover to grip directly onto the hose's metal reinforcement. You benefit from a precise metal-to-metal -metal crimp and the fitting's low-profile design makes routing hose assemblies easy. In the following section, you'll be introduced to the PAR crimp line of crimpers, how they differ from each other, and step-by-step -step instructions of the crimping process, illustrating the benefits of PAR crimp. Park crimp crimpers are available in three model options. The carry crimp for steel hose fittings from 1 quarter to 1 and 1 quarter inch diameter used on two wire braided hoses. And for fittings from 1 quarter to 5 eighths inch diameter used on four wire spiral hoses. The carry crimp 2 for steel and stainless steel fittings from 1 quarter to 1 and a quarter inch diameter used on two wire braided and four wire spiral hoses and for fittings from 1 quarter to 1 inch diameter used on six wire spiral hoses. And the largest, most versatile crimper, the Park Crimp 2, which can accommodate steel and stainless steel fittings from 1 quarter inch all the way up to 2 inches in diameter, used on two wire braided and four and six wire spiral hoses. An added benefit of Carry Crimp and Carry Crimp 2 is their modular design. This enables you to choose between the portability that Carry Crimp crimpers have always offered and the new option to make these same crimpers bench mounted units. You get the flexibility of a portable crimper with the advantage of increased productivity when connected to the stationary power unit. The first step is to prepare the crimper with the appropriate tools and setup according to Parker recommendations. Each Park Crimp comes with an information-rich decal that provides a list of compatible fittings, proper hose and fitting combinations, tools required, and the crimp specification for each hose and fitting combination. All PAR crimp crimpers utilize specific dies to match the hose and fitting combination you are assembling. To make identification quick and easy, the dies are color-coded by size and stamped on the top with its appropriate series and hose fitting size. Another advantage of PAR crimp dies is their linking system. These links prevent any loose segments from being misplaced or improperly installed. They also make it easier to handle the dies when picking them up. Before placing the die set into the adapter bowl, brush a coating of lubricant to the inside surface. If the surface is not lubricated, the high pressure applied on the die set and the adapter bowl will deteriorate their integrity over time. Large teeth located at the bottom of the adapter bowl prevent the die segments from twisting and ensure a proper crimp. Die rings come in different sizes, so use the chart decal to determine the correct die ring for the die set being used. Then, place the die ring over the die set. You will need to determine the proper hose fitting insertion depth. Parker recommends you use a Parker hose insertion depth gauge or mark the insertion depth by putting the fitting next to the hose. Insert the fitting into the hose until the insertion mark is aligned with the end of the ferrule. You are now ready to insert the hose assembly into the Park Crimp crimping machine. Push the assembly up through the hole in the middle of the die. Parker's bottom loading design makes it much easier for operators to manage long hose assemblies. Parker's exclusive Park Align system features a positive stop design that positions the fitting in the die set for a perfect crimp every time. Park Align benefits operators by enabling them to feel that the hose is in the right position to be crimped, as compared to eyeballing the proper position of the fitting in a variable crimper. To start the crimp, push and hold the down button until there is no gap between the die ring and the base. Once crimping is complete, press the up button to return the piston to its starting position. 
To make the completed hose easier to remove, you can pull the holding pin at the top of the piston. This enables the piston to swing back and out of the way. It is important to check that a complete crimp was made. Do this by referring to the chart decal for the crimped fitting diameter and measure the width of the fitting using a pair of calipers. Visit Crimp Source for specifications necessary to correctly fabricate a factory quality hose assembly. At Crimp Source, you'll find crimp specs, PDF files of technical manuals for easy downloading, parts lists, troubleshooting advice, and PDF files of custom chart decals for immediate printing. Thank you for watching and enjoy working with the Park Crimp Difference.